So let's understand the usage of STL using the very first STL container called vectors. So as we know vectors are sequence containers. So we will use vector as a template item where template can be anything which is copyable. For simplicity let's use integer. Okay. And to push elements into the vector we call a function called pushback. Let's say I'm pushing 10 and let me just copy it for more times. I'm pushing let's say 40, 50, something like that. Okay. The way we can check the size of a vector is there is an inbuilt function called let's just say size equal to we can say v dot vector dot size. And to clear the vector, we can call clear to verify whether it is cleared or not let's do that again and if we compile and run this program let's see the output you can see the size is first four because we have put four elements and then it is zero because we have cleared it so that's the way we actually create a vector now vector is a container and containers are accessed by iterators so each container has its specific iterators. So we can use vector iterators, something like this. I'll call it ITR. So iterators, it has to be remembered that iterators are very similar to pointers, if they, if not pointers itself. How? So we can create an iterator which point to begin of the vector. There is a function called begin. And if you want to check the what is the value at that uh, begin, we'll just do like this. And it will actually print the value 10. You see it's 10 is printed. Now if I want to see what is the value at the first position, uh, just, just look we are doing the same kind of dereferencing as we do with the pointer. So let's run it and see. It will say that it's 20. And what it is in third position, we'll see it will show 50. Okay. Okay. And another thing is that we can iterate through the vector very easily or via the iterator. Let's say we are saying iterator is not equal to v dot end. And we'll just increment the iterator just like we are incrementing the pointer. And if we see the value, what is We'll just print the iterator. So as you can see, it's printing value 10, 20, 40, 50, which is the other content. Now, there is another sequence container called list. And to use this, we will have to include the list as a header. Okay. So difference between vector and list is that vector is uh, contiguous. memory allocation and list is uh, doubly linked list sorry for this doubly linked list which any programmer should know about right the good thing about uh, stl is that let's see if i removed vector with list and just run the program sorry before running we need to change the iterator also and we run the program like this and if you see the output, everything remains same. The size same, clear, actually clean set, and we can do a plus plus to go to the next. So this is the beauty of iterators. No matter whether you are using a contiguous memory allocation or a doubly linked list, you can actually use the same iterator. Uh, and from C++11, we can just use auto like this. And it will give you the same result. Okay, so that that that's the beauty of iterator. Let, let's go back to vector for some time to understand something called algorithms. So to include uh, to use algorithms, we need to include a file called algorithm. Uh, so as of now, you can see that uh, this is printed in as a, as it is inserted. Let's let me change it uh, something like this, and you can see that it is being in, printed in the way it is inserted. Suppose I want to sort this. So I can call the sort 
with v dot begin v dot end and then i'm just passing the iterators to the algorithm as you can remember from the ppt so now it look it is the sorted value 2050 so but let's see if i go back to list and use it you might be in for a surprise because it will be saying build is failed because list cannot be used inside sort because sort takes something called random access iterators while list is bidirectional iterator so there are some limitation which we need to make sure um, which we need to understand and make sure we should not use that because of uh, limitation because list is a bi-direction it will just have a pointer to next and previous just like any other double link list but the sort algorithm required a random access iterator which we get from vector deck and other continuous memory allocation algorithms now go back uh, so the last thing which i want to uh, explain is that why i am calling uh, iterators as very similar to the pointers let's create an array it, it's a simpler array like let's say same thing 100 20 300 45 55 something like this and i'll create a simple pointer called begin with uh, arr0 that everybody understand can do that and i create a pointer called end which will be uh, arr0 plus size of ARR divided by size of end. So that will be the end part of it. Now uh, what I can do is that in the sort function instead of where I can just say pass those pointer begin and end. Okay and if uh, we will see this so just ignore this for a while because I am going to get rid of this and this also because this this is not needed so in the for loop what i will do uh, i'll just say begin is not equal to end just like a simple pointer manipulation and say begin plus plus so just okay i have to change this Now you see the output of this program is the very same similar to what if we had a vector instead of array. So in the sort function with the vector we were passing the iterators and here we are passing the pointers and that's the reason why I say the iterators are similar to pointers if not pointer themselves. So the, the very basic of understanding container and iterators is that container is a data store like array and iterators are just pointers. If we just make up our mind in that particular thinking, it will be easy to understand. So that, that's all about starting basic of STL. We'll get into more detail for every containers in the later videos. Thanks, thanks for watching.